thank you so much for staying up late with us tonight. We've got a lot to talk about, so let's start. In your news headlines tonight, the search continues for missing Midtown mother Eliza Fletcher. Let's get you up to speed on this investigation. Police say they were looking and they found that SUV that they were looking for. Police also detained and now charged a man who was inside. His name is Cleotha Abston. Now he is 38 years old and Abston is now charged with especially aggravated kidnapping and tampering with evidence. Eliza Fletcher is a 34 year old mother of two young boys. She is also a junior kindergarten teacher at St. Mary's. Eliza was reported missing Friday after she didn't come home from an early morning run. Police say a dark SUV approached her around 4:30 a.m. and forced her inside of that vehicle. The family is offering now a $50,000 reward for anyone with information that might lead to her return. Rebecca Butcher is live in South Memphis, where we've seen investigators all day, but police aren't saying much right now. But new court documents obtained by ABC 24 gives us more details about this kidnapping. Rebecca, what have you learned tonight? LaVon, it's been a long day, not only for the family, but of course, authorities and everyone praying for Eliza Fletcher's safe return. Now, this just in, we do know that a bond has been set, now set for the suspect in this case, Cleotha Abston. That's at $500,000. This is just day three in the search uh, for missing kindergartner teacher Eliza Fletcher. Uh, police and other authorities were here at this command post, uh, what they made to be here in the South Memphis area. They are now gone, left an hour ago, but also still gone tonight is Eliza. Now, they were searching in this area in South Memphis at, near an apartment complex, the same apartment complex, the suspect, Abstin, hid evidence, authorities say. Now, this is what we know from the affidavit. A biker found Eliza's cell phone and also a pair of champion slides near Zach Curlin. That's near U of M. Investigators found those slides contain absence DNA on them, matching DNA already in a CODIS database. Now, Saturday morning, we shot exclusive photos of where U.S. Marshals found the GMC terrain driven by Abston. He tried to flee, but was taken into custody. Now, what's concerning for many, a witness told authorities that Abston was cleaning that car interior with floor cleaner, acting oddly and washing his own clothes in a sink. The affidavit ends saying that the abduction was violent, saying facts and physical evidence support that she suffered serious injury. Now, today in South Memphis, we ourselves witnessed armored trucks canvassing the area, a chopper in the sky, and authorities searching with canine units and looking through wooded areas in between residential neighborhoods. Now, the major question, like we said tonight, is still where is Eliza? I did speak with a woman who knows someone who uh, has connections with uh, a business uh, that, that is run, has previously been run by her family, the Oracle Company. Company. She says she knows this area and it's very uh, wooded, abandoned houses as well. Evidence, finding evidence for investigators could be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Also, another woman spoke to me off camera. She says that she routinely saw Eliza jogging in the U of M area and she is praying like all of us for her safe return. Of course, when we get more information, we'll update you. Live tonight in South Memphis, I'm Rebecca Butcher. Rebecca, thank you for the update.